Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So today we're discussing physics and this is question one from uh, physics tutorial sheet three. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the button that says subscribe so that the, you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be sending. Click on the subscription button, subscribing is free. Yeah, so I'm going to solve this question now and uh, we'll, I'll also solve some more questions in this same tutorial. So just stay tuned and then what you should understand is that I'm offering tuitions, those that are interested, feel free to contact me. I'm offering tuitions in physics and mathematics. Yeah, so if you'd like to join uh, my tuition group, feel free to contact me at a very uh, small and cheap price that is affordable by everyone. Okay, so let us quickly begin um, solving the question. The question is saying determine the x and the y component of each of the vectors in the diagram. So this one is straightforward. Yeah, so this one is is straightforward, but I'll also show you another uh, another a part of this question which they ask normally to find the resultant force. Okay. All right, so this one um, is simple. So I'll start with A. So when you look at A, to find the X component of A, uh, the x component of a is simply just um, this one here. So let me just draw it from this side. It's this one. This is the x component of a. So in this case, we have a triangle. If I'm to draw this triangle, we have a triangle like this one. So we have something like this. Then the angle here has been given to be 27 degrees. So this one is straightforward. So we have, this is a uh, vector A. And then we have, um, yeah, we have vector A there. So to find the X component of A, the X component is, I'm going to call it AX. So AX is just going to be equal to, so we have the, the magnitude of the uh, force there, which is uh, 20 newtons. So, we are supposed to understand, according to Sokatoa, if you are dealing with a right angled triangle, let me draw a right, uh, a right angled triangle here. So if you are dealing with a right angled triangle, according to Sokatoa, you must understand that um, you have an angle here. You have an angle here, let's say theta. And then, um, yes, and then you have what is called Sokatoa. So to find uh, this uh, distance, this side, if you've been given, uh, uh, if you've been given uh, a force, this side, to find uh, what is on the opposite, this side, you simply just get sine because sine is the one that is uh, going to make use of the hypotenuse and the opposite. So this would be sine theta is equal to, um, yeah. So this is going to be sine theta is equal to. Uh, the opposite which is just uh, this one this side so if this is a b c so this would be a b over the hypotenuse which is uh, b c so this is what happens if you are dealing with uh, so that two. then if you are dealing uh, i mean if you are dealing with um, such a triangle then if you want to find the i mean we are trying to find a b a b in this case is the y component so AB will therefore be equal to, uh, when you cross multiply, this will be BC and then sine theta. So this is what you are going to have, BC uh, sine theta. So in this case, BC is just equivalent to our force. So we can write this as, um, we can write this as F sine uh, theta. Yes, so theta, if you've been given the theta there, you just replace the force there and the theta there, you find the value for BC. So in this case, we can also write this uh, triangle in this format. But if you want, you can solve it the way it is. And you can also, if you want, you can also write it like this. You can put the right angle there, then the theta there. So theta will now be found because if we have a 90 angle, 90 degrees angle there, we're going to subtract 27 from 90. So we're going to say 90 minus 27. 
90 minus 27 you get 63 meaning the angle that you're going to have here is 63 degrees so if you use such a triangle if you um if you what's this you 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 get this if you are going to use this as a triangle then this as your vector which is the 20 newtons rather and then you've been told to find the x component so a x according to this expression a x will, will be found by uh uh saying f um we use Sokatoa in short. Let me let me use Sokatoa. So, Katoa. So you pardon me. I'm from making a lot of tutorial videos for different universities, so I'm a bit tired. So uh, we have Sokatoa. Sokatoa. All right. So even before we start having the tonight's lecture, I have to sleep a bit, like for one hour. So and then I wake up, so that I I gain some energy to teach. Okay, so we have Sokatoa. So in this case, to find AX, which is just this part here, so AX is the adjacent to this angle. And then we have the hypotenuse, which is 20 newtons. So meaning we're going to use cos. So in this case, you do you say uh, the 20 newtons there, then cos uh, 63. But when you're using this triangle, instead of using cos, our x component is the opposite to 27 degrees so instead of using cos you are going to use sine so this will be sine theta so to find um, this you are going to do this okay let me not confuse you okay okay let me first explain this and then i'll restart everything to explain this same uh, concept so to, when you are using this triangle this kind of a triangle you get this one as your x component so this is going to be your ax so you are going to have your answer as um, uh, opposite so meaning this will be uh, opposite um, and uh, hypotenuse so the hypotenuse is 20 so you're going to have 20 and then you have sine 20 sine 27 degrees so whatever you're going to find here is exactly the, an the same answer that you're going to find here try to put this on the calculator and this on the calculator you still find the same answer so now let us now begin to do the question step by step i was just trying to introduce vectors to you yeah so now we are using this triangle and i'm going to use the angles that we've been given so i'll write sokatoa here in advance okay so we have the first triangle which is this one so this triangle according to this triangle we have the magnitude i'll draw the triangle this side so we have the magnitude of a force which is 20 newtons there which is this one here and then this one will be called ax this one will be ay and then we have 20 newtons there and then the angle there has been given to be 27 degrees so to find ax so a uh let me not say ax to find ax so we're going to find um uh any trig ratio in sokatoa that we're going to use to yeah so find any trig ratio in sokatoa that we are going to use which will contain uh the hypotenuse which is 20 newtons the hypotenuse and um it will all it will also have uh, i mean have to, to to contain what's this ax which is the uh, the x component of the vector a so which one is that so this one is opposite so ax is the opposite to 27 degrees and uh, we have the hypotenuse which is 20 so the only known uh, things here is the angle and the hypotenuse so at least we can get ax using the angle and the hypotenuse so how do we do that so we have uh, ax is opposite to the to the versus to the angle so we are looking for the, for the trig ratio which has the opposite, uh, which, which has opposite and the hypotenuse which is 20 newtons. So H and O. So H and O we are going to use sine in this case. So we are going to say sine uh, theta is equal to, we know that this is opposite over hypotenuse. So according to this triangle, the opposite is simply just um, AX. So we say sine our angle is 27 our theta is 27 degrees is equal to the opposite according to this triangle is ax which is 
the one that we are looking for, the x component of vector a. So this is going to be ax divided by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is simply just 20 newtons. So we put 20 newtons there. So we cross multiply to find ax. Uh, so ax times 1 there we get ax is equal to 20 times sine, 20, sine 27 degrees there. You get 20 sine uh, 27 degrees. So sine 27 degrees is simply just, um, so sine 27 degrees is about 0 0.4539, 0 0.454. Yeah, so when you multiply that with 20, you discover that the answer you get is about, uh, this is 9.08. Yeah, so the x component of this, uh, um, or the x component of this triangle, simply just um, a x is equal to nine point uh, zero eight newtons. So to find the y component, so the y component, since we used so, uh, sine in this case, the y component is the adjacent to this angle. So we get the one which is going to have the adjacent and the hypotenuse the adjacent and the hypotenuse but in this case we can also use tan because we already have the opposite we have found ax which is our opposite so tan makes use of the opposite and the adjacent so the adjacent is ay which we are looking for and then the opposite is that but in this case i want us to use cos so the one that has the adjacent and the hypotenuse is cos so we're going to say cos 27 degrees is equal to the adjacent so what is the adjacent the adjacent is a y so the adjacent is a y over the hypotenuse which is 20 so the hypotenuse is 20 so when you cross multiply there we're going to have our a y to be equal to 20 uh, cos 27 degrees so our a y is simply just going to be equal to so you multiply your 20 times uh, cos 27 degrees which is just about 17.82 17.82 newtons so this is exactly what you are supposed to do to find the x and y component of the vector a let's quickly move on to the to finding the the what is the the the, the y and x component of vector b from there we'll go to c and d so on the remaining ones I'll, I'll be a little bit fast because i've explained bit by bit how to do this in the first part so uh for vector b we have um the resultant uh vector which is uh 15 newtons it's in that direction and then we have um the x component there then we have the y component like that. So this is where our 90 degrees is going to be. Then we have 20 degrees angle there, 15 newtons there. So from Sokatoa, okay, from Sokatoa, Sokatoa, we have the triangle here we have uh, 20 degrees and then we have 15 newtons then this side this is our by this is, this is our bx so to find um, bx bx will be found um, so bx is going towards the negative uh, sign of the um, of the number line so of the x or y plane so what we do is we're going to put a negative in front of whatever we're going to be doing so bx in this case okay let me just make a general statement here instead of us making my long cuts let me let me just go direct to the point so if you have sine uh if you're using sine if you have sine theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent if you're finding the hype uh, rather adjacent over hypotenuse so if you're finding Look at me now. This is opposite for sine. So sine is opposite and cos is adjacent. So if you have uh, opposite over hypotenuse, yeah, the opposite over the hypotenuse. If you're finding the opposite, so to find the opposite, you just say the opposite is equal to h times sine theta. So h times sine theta. Uh, so for the adjacent, adjacent 
if you are using cos that is if you are using cos because we know that cos theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse so for the adjacent you are going to say adjacent is equal to uh, h cos theta so in this case what we are going to be doing instead of us writing these i'll just be picking one of these two so since i'm using uh, adjacent here the adjacent i'm finding the adjacent which is the x component there the adjacent to this angle so i'm going to use cos so bx will be a, will be my adjacent which is equal to hypotenuse is this will be h which is the hypotenuse there h cos uh, theta so i'm going to put a negative because it's going towards the negative so this will now be equal to um, a negative my h is 15 newtons and then i'll say cos 20 degrees so 15 negative 15 cos 20 this is giving us about 14 point uh 14.1 so this is 14.1 newtons of course we don't have to forget this negative there so we go to by so by by is opposite to the to the angle so since it's opposite to the angle we're using um sine so and it's going up towards the positive so there's no need of us including the negative there so by will simply just be h sine theta h sine theta which is just going to be equal to our h which is um the hypotenuse we have 15 then we have sine uh 20 degrees which is just going to give us uh so when you do the calculations there say 15 uh sine 15 sine 20 this is 5.1 uh newtons so 5.1 newtons so i'm writing correct to one decimal place this is 5.1 newtons so same applies to C, we can do the same. We're done with B. So for C, we have a triangle which is like this. We have the resultant vector there. So meaning X component is going like that. Y component is coming like that. So we, the X and the Y are both. Um, so this is C. CX. CY. And then this one we have 19 newtons. Then the angle there that we have is 15 degrees. So this one is very simple and straightforward as well. How do we do this? To find CX, so CX is the adjacent to 15 degrees. So we're using cos. So when you're, we adjacent is cos. And then opposite is sine. So we're using cos. So to find CX, we're going to say CX is equal to our H cos. Uh, theta but because it's going to the negative we're going to have negative h there so cx will therefore be equal to uh negative 19 and then you say cos um 15 degrees which will simply just give us um uh, so cos 15 degrees times 19 times negative 19 the answer is um uh so sorry cos 15 degrees times 19 the answer is uh, 18 so this would be negative 18.35 this one i'm using two decimal uh places 35 newtons so to find cy cy is also going down so i'm going to have negative it's going towards the negative y axis so we're going to have negative h and since it's opposite to the to the angle there we're using sine so negative h sine uh theta so this would be negative uh, 19 sine sine 15 degrees so it says sine 15 degrees um times uh, negative 19 the answer is 4.8 nine two so this one is giving us negative four point nine two newtons and to prove that your answer is correct what you need to do is you find the resultant how do you find the resultant the resultant is found by um, doing this so in this case we're using cx so this would be cx squared plus cy squared 
So you can try to find this. If it gives you 19, then the, your answers are correct. But if it doesn't give you 19, then you are wrong somewhere. So we say the square root of um, negative 18.35, negative 18.35 squared plus uh, negative 4.92, negative 4.92 squared. So when you square these, the answer that you are getting, when you square them, and then you add them. You are getting um, the square root of that. This is about 18.997. So when you run, round it off to correct to a whole number, it, this is giving us 18.9974975959 like that. So if you round this to correct to a whole number, you discover that the answer is just equivalent to 19 newtons, which is just that 19. So this is how you prove your answers when you're dealing with vectors. Okay, so we're done with C. Let us quickly move on to D. So D, we can draw the triangle for D as uh, we have the Y component, which is D1. Then we also have the hypotenuse there, which is um, 25 newtons. Then we have the X component for D, which is uh, DX. And then the angle there has been given to be 33 degrees. So this one, we have the dx is going towards the positive, and then dy is going down, which is uh, towards the negative. So to find dx, so dx is opposite to the angle. It's opposite to the angle when you look at it. And then so when you're using opposite in Sokatoa, opposite and hypotenuse, we're dealing with sine. So we're dealing with sine. So for the opposite, we say, uh, so to find the opposite, we say h sine theta. So our h is 25. But because it's going to the positive, we'll leave it positive like that. So h is 25, and then we have sine. Our theta is 33 degrees. So the answer will simply just be equal to... Um, so we say 25 times sine 33. The answer is 13.62. So we have 13.62 correct to two decimal places, newtons. So we can find dy in the same in a similar way. So dy is also found in a similar way. We uh, we get this part this side. So dy is simply just the y component of um, this vector. So the y component is uh, the adjacent. It's adjacent to 33 degrees there. So the adjacent we said is found by h uh, cos theta, using cos there, because it's the one that is dealing with adjacent and hypotenuse. So our h is 25, and then since it's going down, we're going to add the negative there. And then we have sine 33 point, oh, rather, we're using cos in this case, because it's adjacent. So we say cos 33 degrees. So, say cos 33 degrees times cos 33 degrees uh, times 25. So, this one will give us uh, 20.9667. So, we round it off to correct to two decimal places. We have 20.97. So, we have 20. Of course, there's a negative there. negative 20.97 newtons so if you also want to prove that this is correct you can um, find the resultant see if you are going to get 25 so the resultant will be found by saying dx squared plus uh, dy squared d the, the the x component times i mean plus the y component squared so this will just be equal to uh, the square root of 13 point six two squared plus negative twenty put negative twenty in brackets point nine seven squared so the resultant will therefore be equal to thirteen point six two uh, squared then plus negative twenty point 
9 2 squared so you're getting about 623 then the square root of that of that answer is 24.96 so this one is 24.96 um, uh, so when you find this when you round this correct to a whole number this is just the same as 25 newtons which is exactly as what you have found there so this is how you deal with vectors so um, those that have joined me in my tuition group we are going to finish the whole tutorial we'll actually even solve i think even tutorial sheet one and two so we'll be solving all the tutorial sheets uh, during the lessons for tuitions but for mathematics i'll be giving you um at least i'll be giving you free tutorial videos for mathematics and then the lessons those are the ones that you're going to be paying for which is a very uh, small and affordable price thank you very much for watching today's tutorial uh, see you in the next tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click on the button that says subscribe there click on this button there and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me on the lines on the screen thank you very much see you in the next tutorial shalom shalom my name is Amted.